What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Elevation Uncorked Podcast. Thank you for being here. I am your host, Tadian, a lover of all things wine, people, food, travel, all the things. In this platform and space, we really think about uh, fostering conversations for our personal and collective growth. To really think about us as human beings and how that intersects with our work, our passions, and how we show up in the world, all while enjoying some great wines from all around the world. Today, I'm with one of my favorite people in the world, my good brother here. Uh, McGuire, who you'll get to know a bit more throughout the episode. Uh, before we jump in, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have not watched episode one, please go back and do that as well. All right, McGuire. What's up, my boy? What's up, bro? <laughs> I appreciate the opportunity. Yes, sir. How you feeling? One word, how you feeling right now? <sighs> Excited. Okay. Excited. Um, been looking forward to this. You yeah. know, it's been a very busy week for me. And uh, as an entrepreneur, you want things that can uh, offset that work balance. Yeah. Well. And so this is one of those. So uh, I've been... I've been looking forward to this. Work. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm ready. I feel like also we do this all the time. It could be a random day, but um, I'm excited to do this in a an orchestrated way today to really bring people into not just my mind, but yours as well, <laughs> into your work ethic and all the things you're doing. So to jump off, uh, for those who may not know who Maguire Lupica is, uh, tell them who you are as a person, as a yeah. human, where you're from, kind of all that. So yeah, my name is Maguire Lupica. I am a you can say serial entrepreneur, but at the moment I'm focusing on one thing. Um, I'm from from Charlotte, North Carolina, born and raised. Um, came down here in Rock Hill maybe 12 years ago, uh, not to live, but to work. Um, who am I? I feel like I'm still trying to figure that out. I feel like um, I spent a lot of my time becoming the entrepreneur that I wanted to become, that I haven't really tapped into understand like who am I as a person as well, you know? And I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Mm. I'm still in my entrepreneur bag where I'm yeah, trying yeah. to be that person that I want to be for my business. And so that's the, that's the question I got to get back to. You know, it's something I'm still discovering. Yeah, yeah. Where am I? Like, so I want to dive into that. Yeah. I want to put up like my, my <laughs> Oprah hat. Um, stay right there for a second though. So I know you're spending a lot of time and I get it because I'm in the same place, mm -hmm. but spending a lot of time thinking about life, living life from the future, mm -hmm, yeah. right? Because who I am today, I'm cool with it, but it's not like, it's not where I want to be, right? So let me frame the question this way. When you think about the highest, best version of yourself, how would you then describe that person from the future, <laughs> future self? Um, I, I envision myself as being a, a innovator, mm -hmm. um, somebody that people uh, look up to and respect based off what I was able to create. Um, and I, even on on Instagram, uh, I have my my little tag on there, Yay Walton, mm -hmm. uh, which is a mix of uh, Kanye West, who is somebody I, I look up to in regards to being able to um, foresee a future uh, when people are telling you it's not possible. You know what I'm saying? You can't be that. You can't be that. You continue to to um, to to overpass those barriers and become the person you said you were always going to yeah. be. And the Walton part is uh, from Sam Walton, who is the, the founder of Walmart, who uh, created one of the largest uh, retail businesses in, in, in the country. Um, and it started in, in rural America, which is where we are now. Um, and it, it started with a vision. Those are two big visionaries for me. And so I have that name to where I know what, no matter what anybody tells me about what I can't do, what I'm not going to do, I will do it. Yeah. Um, and so I, that's, that's one thing I always keep Keep it back in my mind and so when i get there people are gonna be like wow you know that person did something where nobody believed he could you know and so that, i think that's 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 what i'm working towards you know to be that person where it's like you know i, I told what you said yeah, yeah, you know yeah. so I, I i see that person every day and that's that's who i work to be hmm. to, to be that individual yeah no i hear that i hear that even if um even to yourself, like even telling yourself so, mm -hmm. right? Like I knew we could do this. Mm -hmm. I knew we would get here. Mm -hmm. um, now that's beautiful. So I know we met two and a half, three yeah. years ago. Um, and, it's, and it's funny because we met doing the same thing. <laughs> like, we met working, we met yeah. at a uh, networking event mm -hmm. uh, that we hosted here in Rock Hill. And um, even before then, people were like, you need to meet McGuire. Like, you need really? to get to know that. Yeah, 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 a couple people. It was this basically the same, because vice versa, it was the same thing. I yeah, was and I was you. like, word, I'm like interested. And they were like, he's yeah. young as well. Like, mm -hmm. da, 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 he has a vision, kind of crazy like yeah. you. Um, and I was like, word, I got to meet him. So we met up that one time, and like, we've been connected mm -hmm. ever since. So 
uh, for me, it's been beautiful to watch your journey of Surefire, and we'll talk more about that throughout the episode. But just in two and a half, three years' time, knowing where you are, mm -hmm. but also knowing where you are going, you know, not just you, but a family, um, and what you're building, I just wanted to, like, stop and, like, <laughs> say I'm proud of you, bro. I know we say that all the time, but on camera, so people can hear it, too. Like, I am proud of you. What y'all building is, is beautiful. It is shifting an entire community, which we'll also talk more about. Um, so I just wanted to start with that and get into a cheers. So, of course, for those who are new here, new here in this space, every episode uh, we introduce a bottle of wine. So today we're going to do a Chateau Michelle, which is a Riesling. Um, so this is a 2021 bottle of Riesling from the Columbia Valley. Couple quick facts here. Uh, this Riesling is going to taste more like it's dry. Um, more like a lemon lime, maybe a little bit of peach in there too. So it is a bit more fruitier. Um, so it works well with like different cheeses. I would say more chicken is kind of your meat of choice if you do eat meat. Um, but it's really nice. It's an everyday drink. Uh, and if you're in this area, you can actually come here and buy it here at Surefire. Um, so, we're going to dive into this, so we'll take the glasses. Have you ever had this one before? I, not that one. There's a there's a uh, bottle of wine called Gorchamine or something like that that okay. I've tried before. It was, it was a Riesling? Yes. Okay. It was amazing. All right. Yeah. Um, cheers. All right. Appreciate you, my brother. All right. So... Uh, I want to dive in. I just want to take it there. Like before you do, okay. I want to sound proud of you as well. <laughs> oh, I gotta say that. I gotta say that because I, I remember at that event, uh, even prior to the before meeting you, I've always heard about Tanya Page. Yeah. Tanya Page. Like even like before meeting you, I would see, I would open my phone, Tanya Page. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you'll see stuff on mm -hmm. social media, and I was like this, and I always told you, this man is the president of Rock Hill. Yeah. <laughs> like you're everywhere, That's a goal, man. Bro. Yeah. Like, so yeah. That man and, mm -hmm. and doing it um, such at a young age is so uh, admirable, man. Yeah, because it's, it's that passion, man. When you do it young, you know you got a vision. You yeah. all ultimately are going to be very successful. Sure, very successful. So I'm proud of you, man. Cheers, 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 we can cheers. do both. We can do both. <laughs> <laughs> now I appreciate that. Um, of course. So jumping in right there. So when we met, right, we both were doing a lot of different entrepreneurial activities, um, running multiple businesses, like multiple streams of income, and still dabbling that in ways. Um, but I feel like like you're more streamlined, like tunnel vision right now on the Surefire brand and model. Um, is there a like for the foreseeable future? Is there a plan to go back to serial entrepreneurship or like just building all offsets or offshoots of Surefire? Just personal question. I'm curious about. Um, I think once we get Surefire to a place where I'm comfortable to do um, other things, that's definitely the plan. Yeah. Um, one of my uh, biggest love interest when it comes to investing has been uh, mobile homes. Mm -hmm. uh, I started that before I got into Surefire and I just love mobile yeah. homes. Yeah. Um, the renting process, um, also flipping, yeah. it's like some of the easiest money I've ever made in my mm -hmm. life with mobile home investing. Right. So going down that path, uh, staying focused on Surefire right now, being more streamlined and like one area of focus, right? Because we both believe I can have the whole world if mm -hmm. I want it right very awesome um but what i'm oftentimes told by my mentors is like yes you can have the whole world maybe not all at the same time and or build it all at the same time mm -hmm. right so from this idea of being streamlined how has that impacted your business model like do you see a difference in just focusing right now on that in terms of like productions results uh what you're able to do as a company and how you're scaling and growing is streamlining that important to where you are in that process right now yeah, I 100% think so. Um, because I think when you when you focus on one thing, you see all the other opportunities that can come from it. Mm. Um, and so as I continue to, to learn more about what Surefire is doing and the value and just compare it to other businesses, uh, for me, I'm, I'm a, a, a straightforward, uh, what do you call it? Where you see things like black, black and white. white yeah, yeah, black and white. And so for me, I feel like that's one of my biggest advantages because mm. I'm like, 
if I do this, that means I got it. This is what happens. If I do this, it's the reaction. If I do this, it's the mm -hmm. that. And so, um, mm -hmm. focusing on this thing and seeing different opportunities. Hold on, I'm sorry, I got to pause. There you go. Hello? 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 Okay, hold on a second. Actually, kind of low key. Want to like keep that. Okay. I mean, you do got to run a business at the same time. Comes with the territory, people. <laughs> Let me know you're ready to take it. You know where you're going at. Cool. <laughs> so. And I laugh because I feel like we do this all the time. Yeah, I'm just happy so to record it. It is happy to be recording. You know, we have oh. these conversations, conversations all the time. And that's one thing that um, you, you don't find in people that way yeah. it attracts me to you, man. Be able to see the future and, yeah. and just know um, we are two people who just happen to be in Rock Hill. Yeah. At the same you know, time. At the same time. That's you God, know? bro. Yeah, just happen yeah. to be in Rock Hill doing, doing great things mm. that could be done anywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, that's just an amazing thing. Yeah, I um, question for you. We spend a lot of time on this platform, or my intention through this platform is not just to talk about business and like work, but also you as a human being mm -hmm. and the intersection of that. Uh, through entrepreneurship, through this journey, through where you are today in terms of Surefire's growth, as of today again, same question, what are you learning about McGuire? What are you learning about yourself? We can put that subscribe button right there again. <laughs> <laughs> A little intentional pause. But yeah, just curiosity. I, I think one of the, the the biggest things that I've learned about myself through this process is just knowing how powerful I am. Mm. Um, that that's that's the biggest thing, man. Just being able to to stay focused and dedicated and, and be able to uh, understanding the amount of sacrifice that I have to put into something and, and knowing that if I did it once, I can do it again. You know, that's that's one of the biggest things that I've learned about myself. I had this um mm -hmm. did this uh, score Charlotte event for this uh, I applied for this grant uh, where you had to do a uh, in person speaking. Um, and so I went up there against uh, 10 other people presenting your pitch deck and you had to, you know, give a pitch or whatever. I went up there with no pitch. Mm. Like it was basically, I went up there with my, my pitch deck. I didn't have nothing memorized, I just spoke. Mm. And I was able to do that because when I was in college, I used to, uh, I had a, a English English class where we had to go up there and I would just go up there and just unprepared because I was late for class and I'd go up there and get my little pitch and I'd be yeah. out you know, and I would get an A. Yeah. And so in this moment, I'm like, yeah. I can do it because yeah. I've done it before. Mm. And also I've been, I know what I'm doing. I'm speaking from the heart. Yeah. So I just went up there and said, hey, this is a sure fighter or not? And I won. Yeah. Because I understand, McGuire, <laughs> if you done done it, you can yeah. do it again. And so I, I enjoy just uh, learning learning about myself and, mm -hmm. and what I'm capable of doing. And that I understand I am a powerful, I'm a powerful mm -hmm. being when I use my mind the way it needs yeah. to be used. Take that to the next level. What is McGuire learning about the world these days? Anything is possible. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like living here in America, um, you can't take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. Like, man, there's just so much opportunity here um, if if you want to stay focused. And that's that's one of the things I'm learning on, man, because it's like I couldn't be anywhere else in the world and do what I'm creating here. Mm -hmm. You know, especially being um, African American, you know, it's just like there's just so much opportunity. And also thinking about uh those who came before us who couldn't do what we're doing you know and so it's just like there's no better time than now mm. you know to, to to be black and to to go out there and to mm. uh, achieve your dreams and your goals because there's nothing holding you back other yeah. than yourself mm. in this moment in time and so uh with everything that i do i always think about those who couldn't you know what i'm saying it's like hey people die for this you know what i'm saying people die for this and so uh, it's just, man, being this time and this place, man, it's just so, it's just a blessing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh. amazing. Yeah. Just thank God for real, for real. It's, it's really amazing, man. Part of that makes me want to go into a whole other conversation. I'm not going to do it for the sake of time. <laughs> but there is a powerful conversation to be had, and I'm open to doing it on this platform at some point.
between navigating a world and a system and a country per se that is not set up for you as a black mm. individual, mm -hmm. but still accepting, processing, affirming self-actualization and self-possibility. Mm. Mm. Like, yeah, it's not built for me, but I can own all this shit. I can. <laughs> like, I can. and to walk in both in the same, at the same time, mm -hmm. is a mindset thing mm -hmm. that needs to be tapped into a little bit more. Uh, it's very deep, man. It's it very is, very deep. but it goes back to what you said you're learning about yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like, yet and still, mm -hmm. right? Like, mm -hmm. that's the word right there. Mm -hmm. Even though all the things, mm -hmm. America, no, not mm -hmm. built for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Southside, not set up for success. Mm -hmm. Yet and still. Mm -hmm. Parents immigrated here, yet and still, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the nuance of that, I wouldn't be taken if I didn't take time to at least admit the fact that this country is not where it need to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yet and still, and still bro. Yeah. And it starts here, and I bring it exactly. to here. And um, exactly. you've been doing that, your brothers have been doing that, also by way of your parents. Um, so, bro, I'm proud of you. I, I always do this at the end. I'm catching you off guard because I didn't let you know this in advance, but offer space for you to a ask me a question. If you have one, no pressure. Yeah. Uh, we can easily just cut this out if you don't have <laughs> one. Um, but I've been trying to create space for also those I bring on the show to ask mm -hmm. me something, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's for you personally or just for those who may be yeah. watching, um, as a way to let people inside of me and like mm -hmm. my brain and how I think um, as the audience is getting to know me who may not know me mm -hmm. yet. So space there if you want it, no pressure. So let me ask you this. Don't, right? don't take me back. I, I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you the wrong question. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Are you satisfied with where you are right now? No. Mm. <laughs> no. I never want to be. Mm. Not being satisfied is worth getting out of the bed for. Mm. And in terms of answering the question of. Am I satisfied with where I am? I'm not satisfied with where I am as an individual. I'm not satisfied with where we are as a society. I'm not satisfied with where we are as a country. I'm not satisfied with my family is in terms of generational wealth for those who will come long after I'm dead. So no, like I ain't good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we ain't good. <laughs> Black people ain't good yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My family ain't great yet. Mm -hmm. My life ain't great yet. Mm -hmm. Am I, a, am I living in abundance? Yes. Is God good? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do I love the things that I have? Yes. Do I love the freedom that I have currently? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm content, but I ain't satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> like, Sir. there's a lot more out there, and it goes to this deeper belief that you and I both carry. This whole world is mine, bro. Mm -hmm. And once you know that, you become the most dangerous person in America, exactly. in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting started. Mm -hmm. And which is crazy, because I feel like I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. Like, <laughs> totally. I'm the kid selling CDs. I'm the kid, like, putting music on your iPod, mm -hmm. selling candy bars. Yeah. Like, I'm that kid. Was, that was me. I'm that kid, bro. I sell tech decks. You know what I mean? The little skateboards yeah. in, uh, <laughs> yeah. in middle school. Yeah. Play. Like, you need your phone job. Opportunity. <laughs> opportunity. And as I'm processing that, yes, money was a part of that. But the ability to create mm -hmm. and facilitate mm -hmm. is what I enjoy more than anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm just scratching the surface i thought this the other day to myself i've launched a lot of things mm. a lot of brands like a lot of content a lot of businesses but when i launched plus one mm. it was the most exciting launch for me ever really and i was trying to think why and uh also plug here if you go to plus one co.com i wrote a blog about this um because i've been moving myself from production to creation mm. and even mm. even though those words seem synonymous the mindset of both are different mm. production is about you mm -hmm and you. Production is about what's the outcome. Creation is about creating for creation's sake and bringing something from here to here. Mm. And this is the first platform that I've done that in a way that I haven't been as thoughtful of what the consumer may think of mm. it. That is freedom, brother. Mm. So am I content that I'm in a place where I can just create for creation's sake? Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> but are we done? <laughs> no. Like we just it. getting yeah. started, bro. We're at the starting line mm -hmm. of what we're going to get to. And it's beautiful to be able to walk that walk and that journey alongside my friends, my brothers, my people yeah. who get that, who encourage you, but also you can encourage them mm -hmm. and you turn each other along, uh, cheer each other along, along the way. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just glad I get to do that with you, bro. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. I think yeah. um, one thing I love about what we both do um, is that we are, 
I feel like for 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 our, our people, representation is one of the biggest mm-hmm. things. Um, and, and we are both good representations of what we do. Because mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. I find like it's hard when it's a uh, individual that doesn't look like us doing something, you can't really relate. And you feel like it's outreach. Yeah, like I yeah. can't do that. I yeah. can't do that. They had they had it easy. Yeah, you know, they live yeah. in loans and stuff like that. Yeah. But you know, us being uh, African Americans, we do it what we got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So somebody be watching this, like, man, if yeah. he did, I can do it too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just appreciate you, man, for doing that, man. Because sure. it's, it's 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 um it's very impactful, man. Yeah. And so uh, it's, uh, representation is, mm-hmm. is a big thing that we need in our communities. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people or lost because they don't see themselves in other shoes because mm. there's nobody who looks like them doing no. it. You know what I'm saying? So this is very impactful. Or, I'm going to cheers you one more time, my brother. I'm going to let you uh, let people know how they can connect with you, connect with Surefire, um, and I'll close out from there. All right. Yeah, so you can uh, follow me on Instagram at M-A-G-L-O-I-R-E, Surefire, which is S-U-R-E-F-I-R-E. Our social media here is Surefire Market, C-O. That's on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and uh, we're on TikTok as well. And social media is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we have a good marketing team, Unchained Media, uh, with my man, uh, Jake Riggins. And so definitely check them out. Yeah, we're cheers, my brother. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you all again for tuning in to another episode of the Elevation Uncorked podcast. It is my hope, my prayer, my intention that through this space, you are able to connect not just with others and learn our stories, but connect deeper with yourself. As always, sending you love and light. Cheers to you.